welcome to this experiment on prism uh, here we're going to study how for different incident rays um, the light deviates in a prism right so here i have one experiment already done to just indicate what we're going to do uh, so here we have this uh, outline of a prism and this is a normal and this is an incident ray at 25 degrees and we want to see the, how, how I draw this exit ray. Now once I know this exit ray, um, then I can do a whole lot of other things. But let's see how, how to do that. So I have, I have a, a light beam here and I, I make the light beam come in at this angle and I keep my prism precisely uh, the outer line. And there you, see, you can see that the ray is exiting and even you can see slight dispersion, right? But let's not worry about dispersion, but you can see this ray is exiting here. So these are the two points. So you can join these two points and extend it over here, draw the normal, and you can get an in the, the exit angle, which is 63 degrees. If you extend this outgoing and the incoming lines, the angle between them is your deviation 40 degrees right now what is interesting is I can I can I can let the light pass through this and see what happens uh, if the light is coming in through this way and I'll keep my prism back uh, yeah and you see that the light goes out the way it had come so you know you know so you have incident angle if you if, if you're sending this light back in the same path as it exit exited it will come out uh, as it had come in originally right and this is the idea of reversibility uh, in prism reversibility of light in prism right uh, so for for two different angles incident angles you will have the same deviation which is 25 degrees and 63 degrees, you will get the same deviation. Okay, let's do this experiment for one of these cases. So this is a ray at 30 degrees. And here I keep my prism. Um, we need to make sure that it's, it's, it's aligned. All the sides are aligned, especially the two sides with which we are going to do the experiment, which is, which is this one and this one. All right, so I... I see that the light is incoming and the outgoing light I'm going to put in two points approximately in the center in which it had gone out. Maybe even one more point, three points, so that I get it right. And once I get that, I, I extend these three points. Um, back to prism, it meets here. And I even extend this a little bit so that I can find the deviation. Okay, so I've done that. So it, it meets over here. So the light would have gone in, gone in like this. So I draw a light line to indicate that the light has gone in like that. How do you find the exit angle? So for that, I need to draw the normal. So I keep my protractor here. I mark my 90 degrees and I, I, I draw the normal. There you go. All right, now I need to measure this angle. So what is the exit? Because this is my exit ray. So there are two angles I need to measure. So one is this angle and the other is this deviation, right? Um, so let's first measure that angle. So I keep my protractor here. Maybe we need to extend this line a little bit more, um, exit ray a little bit more, so I can, I can precisely measure that angle. There you go. So once I do that, I can measure that angle. So I keep my protractor here. Oh wow, that's about, that's about very close to 71, 
71 degrees you can see that that's about 71 degrees and my deviation again is to extend this line a bit more so that I can get my deviation all right and um, so originally this ray would have gone uh, this ray would have gone like this and it I met here uh, but instead that that ray of light bend so that's the deviation so let's let's see what the deviation would be oh that's 45 degrees that's pretty nice that's 45 degrees let's measure this again is it indeed 45 degrees right there you go so that's 45 degrees so my i1 and i2 this is 30 this is 71 and my deviation is 45 degrees um, so we can continue to do this experiment for two more angles and then um, we can try to plot the graph between uh, between our uh, for i incident angle and our deviation and see what graph we get all right so here is a completed uh, piece of um, work for, for all the angles of prism. So we have found out uh, in the same way as we did for this one and this one for all the values of I1 and I2 and delta, which is a deviation. So we have found out for everything. Um, there was a mistake though in the previous, uh, in the, you know, in the previous working. This angle, incident angle was 36 degrees and not uh, 25 degrees or something for which we have exit 63 degrees. Um, and you can see it's very close. Here we have for 60 degrees and 38 degrees we have 40 degrees. So we are, we are choosing to discard this because we have same deviation for both. Other than that, you know, when you plot the graph between I and delta, what you will find is for two values of I, which is I1 and I2, you will have same delta. And as you keep plotting it, what you will find is, you know, another I1 and I2, let's say, comes here, and it will have same delta, right? So you keep plotting this, and you will see that it takes a shape of a parabola. And that means that it has a vertex, and that's the minimum deviation that you will have. And that will happen when I1 equal to I2. So if you draw, plot these graph, you can extrapolate what would be the minimum deviation and at what angle will that minimum deviation be. So that's what we have done exactly in this graph. So in this graph, we have in the x coordinate you have i and the y coordinate you have delta. And we have plotted all these points and we have tried to uh, draw the parabola and extrapolate what will be the minimum deviation and in this particular case we have got a minimum deviation of 38.5 degrees and that happens at a 48 degree angle what this means is that at 48 degree angle so if, if if this is your prism if this is your prism and this is your normal if at approximately 48 degrees i have an incident beam the exit beam will also uh, let's say this is this is the normal. The exit beam will also be 48 degrees. Right? That's that's 48 degrees. That's 48 degrees. And if you want to find the deviation, you will extend this, and you will extend the outgoing ray. And if you measure this deviation, then these two angles are same. Your deviation will be minimum. And that deviation, minimum deviation is what we have here, which is 38.5 degrees. So that is um, 38.5 degrees, okay, for I1 equal to I2, okay. So that's, uh, that's pretty much it. I hope uh, you enjoy this video. See you in the next one.